Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a rather, and when I say it's heavy, a very, very large Bath and Body Works haul. 18 candles to be precise. So let's get right into this. But before we get started, I'm gonna share with you guys what is all over my lips and what is on my nails. Because if I don't, you always ask. I have on my lips YSL's Voluped Candy Glaze. And I think this one is in the number 04. And that is what I have all over my lips. Now, I won't be able to tell you guys actually what's on my nails because I got my nails done at the salon. I just like to go every once in a while to get them to clean up and do all those things that they do. And I don't know, it's an OPI color. I think it's one of their holiday colors, but I don't know what color it is. I just pointed at it and went, I want that. That nail color you'll see also when you see the close-ups of each of these candles. And when I say there's a lot of candles, 18 candles, that's what I bought at this. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> All right, it's really squashy. This is probably one of the biggest boxes. It actually came in two different boxes. This large one that you saw here, plus a small one um, that had like, I think it was like two candles in it or something like that. I don't know, I guess 16 is the limit for the box, but I appreciate that they packaged everything very well as per usual, but I have since taken apart all the packaging and now we got to go through all these candles. So there's a few new candles that I saw that I was like, oh, I gotta try. So this is the Top Shelf Elf candle. And this is this one here. And it looks really cool. The lids on this are amazing. They're stunning. They're very cool, very festive. This one doesn't have a sentinel description, but I will put this above if there is one that I can find for Top Shelf Elf. It smells fruity and juicy and yummy. It's just somewhat cherry or something. Definitely, a, I think it's a cherry, like, a, but a candied like a candied cherry. But anyway, I really thought this was gonna be great. This one, I know it's top shelf elf, but I could also see myself burning this in the summertime because of the nature of the scent. So let's go on to the next one. Ooh, same collection. We have candy cane colada. So I imagine I'm not gonna be able to see a scent note description for this either, same lid. This one doesn't really give you a scent note description for the scent, it <laughs> just gives a little sore story. Anyway, this is like a candy cane vanilla, I guess. Now it says colada, I don't know. I guess you can sort of smell a pina colada, but I definitely get the peppermint comes forward with this, this one. And again, all three wicks. This one's like an off-white wax. So same collection as the last one. So now let's go over to, I have so many from that collection actually, because I was like, I want to try new things. I got some older, like some favorites in this haul, but I definitely wanted to try some new things. And this one here is Cranberry Pear Bellini. And I've had this one before and it's stunning. It's fruity, it's juicy. It's again, something I can burn any part of the year. They do tend to bring that one out for the fall, winter pretty much winter because of the cranberry, I guess. Sort of like how Shan, sorry, I'm like squeezed in here. Hey, the room is closing in on me. They do things like champagne toast that comes out in the winter time to kind of shake things up to take away. Like there's so many heady, heavy, thick holiday scents with spices that they do like to throw a candle out once in a while. So this one here I've had before in the past and oh man, it smells so good. Some of mine, like this one is not attached to the bottom. Um, many of mine were, it was very cold the day they delivered. Um, many of mine were definitely shaking around and lifting, but it doesn't mean they'll be fine. I know they'll be fine. So we're all good there. Another one from the same lid collection. I don't know what it's called. Uh, Cosmopolitan. So this one I think is supposed, I think it's supposed to be like a cosmopolitan, but I'm not sure. Again, it doesn't really give you scent note descriptions on the bottom, but again, beautiful lid. Yeah, it smells good. This one definitely has like the berries and like a cosmo. Like I definitely get like a cranberry, but sugared cranberry it actually reminds me of something when I was a kid. I don't even know what it is, but yeah, it smells so good. I am looking forward to this one. It's very fruity. It's almost like a gum I would love to chew. Like, you know, a gum that would only last maybe five minutes and then you'd have to spit it out because it tastes gross after that. That's kind of what I'm going with there, but I think it'll be a great candle. This is the perfect Christmas fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar toasted marshmallow. And again, here are the lids here. The lid is 
beautiful and stunning packaging. That smells so good. I think the pine is just the right amount. It's not the most forward-leaning scent to this candle, which is lovely. So I'm happy to get that. I probably would burn this in the new year or like around the holiday season. I think that would be great. Next up over here, still the same kind of collection because the lids are all the same again. We have Merry Mimosa. And this one here says sparkling champagne, red apple slices, and the iced sugar crystals. And the packaging again here is stunning. Yeah, it's like... It's like a cranberry purpolini. It's kind of like a champagne toast. It's that light, bright scent that is very odd for this time of year, but I'll take it. I love it. Mmm, I can burn that in the summer too. Like I said, it's a beautiful scent. So now I'm going to go to something, the four seasons, I guess, if you will. They did seasonal ones. This is probably my favorite one of the four and it probably won't come to anyone's surprise, but this is autumn. And then it says the perfect autumn on the bottom and the lids are just like the dented in lids, I guess. And the note descriptions are fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, and rich clove. This is so close to my cranberry pumpkin, uh, cranberry pumpkin candle that hasn't come back. Just has a little bit more clove but this i would actually if sas comes up which starts on the 26th of december if they have more of these i will probably buy multiples of this one this was my favorite of all of them on cold sniff um, and then next up we have spring so spring is described as spring air fresh grass and apple blossoms yeah it's definitely a fresh candle something i can definitely see myself burning in the bathroom i think it would do really well it was one of those candles that kind of fell out it's why it looks pretty schmutty but <laughs> anyway it's fine and let's reach into this big box again for the other two the next one we have is the summer or the perfect summer candle. And this one here is described as sunkissed citrus, orange blossoms, and coconut husk. It's just like suntan lotion. Their old suntan lotion candle. I've burned many of those in the past and reviewed that one on my channel many, many years ago. <laughs> Oh, it, it does smell really good. Very suntan lotion, but not too coconutty. Like it's a suntan lotion, not, not a, like a coconut oil, that kind of thing. That's what I get. And then the last one is winter, the perfect winter candle here. And this one actually reminds me of a candle I have in my stash and I'm going to have to go get it. Aha, this is it. I think this is the same as the winter mint and spruce and I'm going to sniff them both. This one yeah they're exactly the same you guys so if you have winter mint and spruce you don't necessarily if you don't want to getting to get the uh, new winter candle because that is the same I really like that one and I won't burn this one it was gifted to me um, by one of my subscribers years and years ago and then she gave me two and I burned the first one actually I chopped it up um, I went to last longer and I don't want to burn this one because it's probably the oldest candle I have in my collection as it was a gift and I don't want to touch it. So anyway, interesting that they're the exact same. Next up is Tis the Season. You guys know how much I love that one. Tis the Season is synonymous for Bath and Body Works to bring out over the winter holidays. And it is truly the Christmas candle in my mind from Bath and Body Works. The scent note description on this one is rich red apples, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. Don't necessarily get the cedar wood. I get the cinnamon and the apple and it's just beautiful. And this one here in particular, I know these ones end up selling for more money because the lids are different. Unlike say different lids like this, this is definitely heftier. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I was able to snag that one for candle day. So there was that one. And then I have one from the white barn and this one is the wild berry and ube. I never really knew what ube was. And this one here is described as fresh wild berries, purple ube and creamy vanilla. And this is delicious. Another one that I would love to pick up for SAS if they have this available. So this is very bakery actually. And I think ube is supposed to, I don't know. I don't, don't quote me on this, but ube is similar to like a sweet potato, sort of, kind of, uh, obviously different in color and things like that. But my initial reaction when I smell this, this is a gourmand candle. This is something that you can smell like you're going to eat. And there, I smell the wild berries for sure, but I definitely smell a baked good in here. And I'm thinking that might be the ube. So 
I would definitely pick up multiples of that during SAS if they had it available. Um, over here we have one of the classics, you guys. Peach Bellini. This is a classic. I love the packaging this year. It's beautiful. Just a simple lid. And this one here is described as succulent white peach, sparkling prosecco, and sweet orange. This is gorgeous. I love Peach Bellini. Again, it's like a New Year's scent. And they always kind of use that one and, and many of the other ones like uh, champagne toast to kind of bring in the new year kind of thing. That's kind of how a lot of the marketing goes towards. So anyway, sweet whiskey. I was really hesitant because some of the liquor like blended candles and hand soaps and lotions never worked out for me. I'm happy to announce that sweet whiskey is very, very good. The scent notes are golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and smoked red berries. Oh, it smells so, I, I get the red berries right away. Oh, 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 again, I would probably buy multiples if I could find it during SAS, but you never know what they're gonna have available. Okay, so let's go to double. The only one I bought two of, and again, I also am looking forward to SAS in hopes I can buy some more. Frosted Cranberry, this is a Tri Tessa True candle. I bought two of them. I'm just gonna put one off to the side. This is one of my absolute favorite candles. This is my favorite candle to burn in November. I feel like for me, November is a great cranberry month. December is a little bit more heady. I'm more of a Frosted Cranberry person versus the, what is it, Cranberry Woods? I like that one too, but this one is my favorite. So the set up descriptions read, Ice Cranberries, Blonde Woods, Red Apple, and Tonka Bean. It's been a favorite of mine for over 10 years. Get this. And I can hear this one is again, one of the ones that, nah, it was so cold it kind of pulled apart. So this is the Lavender Marshmallow. This has been around before for sure. Many times I do like this one. And this is when lavender is done very well. To me, I can't do herbal lavender when it comes to candles. I find it too astringent, too strong, just too, ugh. I don't know how else to describe it, but when it's blended with marshmallow and it's so sweet and yummy, that's, you got me. You got me at the marshmallow and lavender, of course. The scent note description for lavender marshmallow are fluffy marshmallows, touch of lavender and fresh vanilla bean. I think it's the vanilla bean, all like the extra vanilla and then the lavender that I love this so much. I think that'll be a really great bedroom candle too, like have it lit before bed. Um, that lavender will like totally help you to relax or at least for me it would. And the very last candle, I think. Yeah, see? Big box now empty. Whew. Now I gotta figure out where to put all these. Um, the Candy Emporium. I did pick this one up as well. This one had the cool little, oh, so what did the lavender marshmallow? They had the cool little lids too. Forgot to mention that. This one here is described as fruity candy, sweet confections, and pillowy mints. And it's very lovely. I do love a mint scent. The mint is there, but I definitely get the candy. It's definitely more of a candy forward fragrance. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Might, might, might wait to burn this one in the spring, just cause it gives me that vibe. That was my haul, everybody. That was a lot of candles. I mean, it was 18 candles. I think we had a limit online of 24 in store, probably the same. I don't live near a store or very close ones like an hour and a half away the other one's like another 45 minutes away uh, I was just like let's order online I order on the 1st of December it showed up on the 12th or 13th 13th of December and so anyway um it did take a little bit but again it's a big sale I totally get that and I'm okay with that too but now I have some back stock because I was getting pretty low on my candles you guys because like over here is that's pretty much the candles I have oh that's not true that's pretty much the candles tucked away behind the Tim Hortons candles are the Bath and Body Works but I do have a whole other area of more candles and you guys can see other kinds of candles right here <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I don't have a shortage of candles or nail polish or anything else, it seems. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.